YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Epson Workforce 2630. If you are having issues with your print quality, a certain color isn't printing, or your prints are just coming out choppy, this is a method uh, that you can go ahead and use to solve that problem. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you are going to have it powered on, obviously. And then you are going to lift it from the side here. There's a little crevice in there that you can lift this up with. And um, what you are going to do is you want to make sure that you can get your print head to the middle. Now to do that, what you're, all you're going to have to do is come here to your menu. And go to Setup. Maintenance. And you're going to be you're going to choose ink cartridge replacement and that's going to bring your print head right to the middle here uh, once it's right there in the middle you can go ahead and shut this off and you can begin working on it i'm going to mention some products here um, that i would highly recommend that you purchase uh, now the first thing and any of the products that i mention are going to be in the description below so if you go down to the bottom of this video to and you click on show more on the description you're gonna have a bunch of links that pop up there and those are the links those are the things I'm gonna be talking about in this video that are gonna be helpful for you so the first thing I always recommend is you take out this ink and you check it out so if you are running low ink that is gonna be your problem if even one of these is low and mainly it's the one that you're having issues with let's say it's black or magenta um, you're gonna want to buy some brand new ink so that is the first link I will leave in the description below under uh, the first one I'm going to put up, but it's going to put it's going to be 220 uh, Epson ink is what I'm going to put on there. So I highly recommend you buy this and do that before you even get into the rest of this project. Okay, next you are going to want to have a paper towel, um, and you can get this up, you know some paper towel if you don't have some. I mean you can get some on uh, Amazon.com, which is where I'm linking most of these products from. Uh, and you're going to want to put this folded up piece of paper, and you're going to want it to be kind of layered in there. You're gonna put it right under the print head. So you're gonna move the print head right to the side here. And actually what you can do at this point is just shut this off. Hold the print head in place. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not gonna damage anything. You know, just hold it in place. Okay, once it's just completely shut off, you're gonna to wanna to hold this paper towel down with one hand. And with another hand, you're gonna kinda of just hold that other paper towel down and you're gonna put it right over there. All right, so the next product I highly recommend you need for this project is a print head cleaning syringe. Okay, the syringe is going to come with some cleaning solution. I'm going to leave a link to that. It's going to be the first link that's in the description. Uh, very affordable, but I highly recommend that you buy this. Is, this is what you need. A lot of times people will try to use water or alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. That is not going to work. You're going to need to buy you're going to need to buy this cleaning solution. Uh, it comes with a syringe, it comes with some gloves, everything you need. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this syringe. You're going to place it right over the nozzle there. And you are going to push through the cleaning solution here. And it is going to go down to the bottom and uh, go onto the paper towel there. So I'm going to do this one time. And but if you are having a major print head uh, ink issue, ink system issue, you're going to want to do this two, three times. Uh, after three or four times, really, you are going to want to try to figure something else out. And with the print head cleaning solution kit. It's also come, going to come with some instructions where you can warm up the solution and all that. And that's why I'm really recommending it for you guys here. Okay, so use it all up. Once you are done, you're going to want to just... It's, the paper towel is going to look just like this because a bunch of dry ink just came out. And you're going to throw that away. Alright, so now you're done. You're going to uh, wipe it down with a towel paper towel again any extra supplies you need that I'm using here that you don't have when you go and click on these links go ahead and buy whatever you need 
to do this project. Whatever you don't have. If you don't have paper towel, you know, you can buy some paper towel on there. If you don't have ink, you can get ink. Okay, so that's basically it. Assuming that we had the brand new ink, we're going to put our brand new ink right down in there. You should not have any issues after this. If this doesn't work for you for whatever reason, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below also for a uh, new or used version of this printer, the Workforce 2630. Might throw in a few other ones. And um, I'm also going to put in my uh, website, bestprinterstech.com. If you were thinking about buying a new printer or a different type of printer, um, different brand, you can go ahead and go on there. You can find some. You can find some newer printers to per, uh, different printer to purchase if that's what you were looking to do. Now, also on top of all that, I'm going to include some links. If you found this video helpful and you were wanting to um, contribute, or you know, um, let's say you saved on the ink, or you saved on the. Um, that you just saved the whole printer you didn't have to spend hundreds of dollars uh, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and uh, there's an attention um, if you found this video helpful um, go ahead and subscribe or uh, sign up for any of the um, products below and a lot of it's like Amazon Prime and Amazon business account if you had a business um, and, and a lot of other ones where you can you know the uh, Amazon groceries where you can get your uh, groceries delivered to you or you can purchase them on Amazon, they'll be delivered to you. So there's a lot of resources down in the description below, so I would highly recommend you go down there, take a look. Uh, again, if you found this helpful, if you end up fixing your printer, come back to this video, you know, save this video or uh, subscribe to my channel so you can come back to it. And I would really appreciate that. Uh, but I hope this was really helpful. I have, uh, over the years, have saved people a lot of money and a lot of heartache with uh, being able to solve this problem uh, with an easy solution it's very inexpensive uh, and it's something that you can some knowledge that you can use again if it ever ends up happening again so I, I really hope this was helpful uh, make sure to like uh, if you have any questions at all go ahead and comment below and also make sure to subscribe so thanks for watching and until next time